Hello and welcome to another CloudWords video. My name is Mauricio and today we'll be comparing the big three of cloud storage. That's Dropbox, Google Drive and OneDrive. I'll admit these aren't my personal favorites, but they're the three most widely used cloud storage services on the planet. You probably already have an account with at least one of these services, so you need to know how they compare to one another to make the most out of them. If you're interested in cloud storage and videos like this one, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get notified whenever we release a new video. Now, buckle up and let's get started. I just want to start off this comparison with a little caveat about the big three. They all have one thing in common, and that's that neither of these services really care about your privacy. Google Drive and OneDrive belong to Google and Microsoft respectively, and both of these companies make billions of dollars saying the data they harvest from their users. Dropbox is a bit better on this front in that it doesn't actually do that, but on the other hand, it's had quite a few security breaches in its history, and the last one happened as recently as 2018. Nonetheless, each of them has something unique to offer if you're willing to trade a bit of privacy for it. Now, for the purposes of this video, I'll have to be brief and I'll only give a broad overview of the situation. Otherwise, this video will end up being over an hour long and we'll pit the three cloud storage titans against each other in nine different categories. So without further ado, let's check out the first category. We're kicking off this comparison by looking at what features Google Drive, Dropbox, and OneDrive offer. First, I want to focus on collaboration. So each of the three integrates with a suite of productivity apps for OneDrive. That's the Office suite, which includes Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and for Google Drive, that's Google Workspace, or you might remember it as G Suite. It includes Google Docs, Sheets, and Slides, which are basically the Google versions of Microsoft's apps. Dropbox takes the diplomatic approach and integrates with both of these suites. Apart from this, each of them integrates with a ton of different third-party apps, which can really expand the use of your cloud storage the way more than just storing files. But Google Drive, being the most used cloud storage platform by a country mile, integrates with more of these uh, third-party apps than the other two. Now, when it comes to pricing, nothing beats free. And Google Drive wins that battle by a wide margin with 15 gigabytes of free space versus OneDrive's five gigabytes and Dropbox measly two gigabytes. But what about paid plans? Again, Google Drive has a well-priced two terabyte plan that offers a better value per terabyte than OneDrive or Dropbox. And Dropbox is technically the most expensive of the three on the two terabyte plan. However, OneDrive is in a unique position where it only gives you up to one terabyte of storage, yet has worse value per terabyte than the other two services. That makes it hard to draw a direct comparison since higher capacity plans typically yield better value. So, file syncing. There's really only one winner here, and that's Dropbox. Thanks to its reliable sync client, Dropbox and OneDrive both let you mark certain files to be online only to help save space, though OneDrive's sync client lacks an app to let you change your settings. On the other hand, Google Drive's sync client kind of sucks, to be honest. It just forgets to sync files sometimes, and the recent overhaul broke it completely for a while, and some of those bugs haven't really been squashed yet. When it comes to sharing files, all three services let you set editing and viewing permissions for files, which is key for collaboration. Google Drive also lets you set people as commenters, but that's tied to how Google Workspace works. OneDrive and Dropbox also let you set passwords and expiry dates for sharing links, which Google Drive doesn't do. I'd say OneDrive and Dropbox are on pretty even footing here, with Google Drive falling behind a bit. So now let's look at how Google Drive, Dropbox, and OneDrive feel when you're using them. In my opinion, and obviously this is a very subjective category, Dropbox has the smoothest user interface. Its sync folder system is refined and polished, and its desktop app is fully functional and well-organized. OneDrive 
seems to have taken more than just inspiration from Dropbox since this sync folder works almost identically to Dropbox's. But I wanna point out the convenience of OneDrive, which comes pre-installed on Windows and really neatly integrates with other Microsoft products. I'd call it a clear winner if you are a heavy Microsoft user. However, it doesn't have a full app, so you can't really change any settings. It, it's literally just a sync folder and that's that. And I really ragged on Google Drive's broken sync client, so it obviously gets a failing grade in this category. For mobile apps, all three services perform about the same. They all offer automatic photo and video backup and they let you scan documents. They even look almost identical. So I'll just call this round a draw for every uh, provider. So when it comes to security, neither of these services offer zero knowledge encryption. This means that they can scan your files at will. However, you should be pretty safe from outside hackers because they all offer robust encryption and two-factor authentication. OneDrive goes a step further by providing you with a vault for your more sensitive files that requires an extra authentication step. I'll also point out Dropbox here, which has had several security failures over the years. So you can basically make up your own mind about which one you would trust the most. For privacy, I wouldn't trust any of these services. I mentioned at the start how OneDrive and Google Drive use your data for advertising. Now, OneDrive and Dropbox don't use data from your files for advertising, but Dropbox also shares your data with partners like Google, so OneDrive might take the point here. Customer support. We all have customer support stories. Dropbox and Google Drive offer round the clock live chat support, which is as good as you can get it basically. OneDrive also has live chat support, but only during office hours. All of them also have a user forum where you can ask peers with firsthand experience about issues, although OneDrive users will have to settle for the Microsoft forum, which isn't focused on just cloud storage. I'm sure you're all waiting for the big verdict. Dropbox versus Google Drive versus OneDrive. So who is the ultimate winner in this roundup? The points would say it's Dropbox, but it was a close call. So if Google Drive's crappy sync client is a deal breaker, then go with something else. If you don't want to spend money on cloud storage, Google Drive has the best free plan. If you need to work on documents specifically in Microsoft Office, you could go with OneDrive or Dropbox. It's ultimately your call to make. And as you've guessed it, that's it for this video. I hope you walked away from it more informed and ready to make the right call for your cloud storage. But if you came away from this video unsure about these three services, you can take our cloud storage comparison quiz on our CloudWords website. You just answer basically a few questions to find the best service for you. And obviously I'll link that in the description box below. If you liked the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up as it helps the channel to grow so we can put up more quality content for you guys. We keep this channel updated with the latest info on cloud storage. So you wanna see more of our videos, subscribe, hit the bell icon, you know what to do to get notified once we upload a new video. If you agreed or disagreed with anything I said in this video, feel free to drop a comment with your feedback. See you in the next video. And as always, thank you very much for watching. See ya.